the circumstances weren't very good, but honestly, we had a great holiday. Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today is December 26th, the day after Christmas. No matter what you and your loved ones celebrate, I hope you all are having a wonderful and safe holiday. My family does celebrate Christmas. My mom's side of the family is from Denmark, so traditionally we celebrate Christmas on the 24th of December, and then the rest of my family and Jake's side of the family celebrates on the 25th. Um, of course, this year was a little bit different this year, um, but I was still, uh, I was just very, very fortunate to get a bunch of nice gifts from everyone. So I thought it would be fun if I showed you some of them today. What I have here are not all of my gifts, I just chose some that I thought were kind of like collectibles related or hobby related that um, would be of interest to those of you who watch my channel, but I'm certainly thankful for all of my gifts. So to any of my family members watching, if you don't see what you gave me here, I am so certainly thankful for it. I just didn't want this video to go on for hours and hours. To start, the big thing that Jacob got me for Christmas, it's actually not in this room, it's all the way down in the basement of our house. Jake got me a 3D printer, the Ender 3 Pro. I've been having so much fun learning how to use this 3D printer as well as some frustration to be honest, um, but I'm going to make some more separate videos about 3D printing. Then the other gift that Jake got me is this Calico Critters, or Sylvanian Families, depending on where you're from in the world, um, the school lunch set. This is super, super, super cute. I love all the little um, detailed pieces that are inside of this set. And Jake said that was the reason why he picked this one out, was because there's lots of little accessories to it. Next from my mom, I got this headband magnifier. You wear it on your head and it's kind of like a visor that comes down over your eyes with magnifying lenses um, for things like working on electronics or painting. And I just thought this would be absolutely perfect for customizing Tamas. Um, my dad had one of these growing up that he always wore for working on watches. Um, so I, I've just always wanted one of these and I'm very excited to try it out. And I'm hoping to customize a Tama coming up here. I'm not gonna make any promises as far as what day, but it's going to happen hopefully very soon. And then from my mom, I also got Easy Cast Resin. And this, I've used this resin before um, for making like little gems and jewelry pieces. And the stuff that I had, it's just expired. It's, it's quite old. It only lasts for about a year once you open it. So she gave me some more of that. And then these are reusable mixing tools. So with EasyCast, you have to pour it into different cups um, and mix it multiple times. And if you're using plastic cups, it's just kind of wasteful, but these I can wash out and reuse. So I'm very excited about that. I also got this My Neighbor Totoro DIY from my mom. I think it's like a paper craft, not really a, like a diorama, but um, there's different layers of paper that you stack together to make like a cute little shadow box or you know what they call a paper theater. So that is super adorable. Continuing with my mom's side of the family, I got this video game from my brother. Some of you might recognize it from the image on the cartridge, but this is Bokujo Monogatari 2 for the Nintendo 64, which is Harvest Moon. My brother Sam and I have a lot of great memories playing different versions of Harvest Moon growing up. So not only is this just a super awesome piece to have in my collection, but it's also very nostalgic and holds a lot of good memories for me. I haven't gotten to try it out yet, um, but I'm hopefully going to be able to later today. Then from my big sister, I got this, a Mickey Year of the Mouse collector's plush. This is a part of a series of 12. Each month of the year had its own Mickey with its own special design. This is number 11 and it's, you know, inspired by Fantasia with, you know, blue stars and red for the Sorcerer's Apprentice. I love Sorcerer Mickey. I love Fantasia. I probably shouldn't even try to go into it right now because it would make this video way too long, but I was just in awe when I opened this from her. It is so beautiful and I'm so thankful to have it as a part of my collection. I haven't talked too much about 
my love for Disney and my Disney collecting on this channel. Um, I do have a second channel, which is Panda Bunny Vlogs, and that's kind of where I've talked a little bit about my love for theme parks. But theme parks, including Disney, are just a huge part of my life. Anyway, so moving on now to Jake's side of the family. One of the things that they gave me was also Disney related, the super cute Mickey Mouse bag. I have an obsession with mini backpacks and uh, this one I think is by Kohl's. Um, it's just so cute with like the metallic Mickey emblem in the front. I'm gonna move all my stuff over into this backpack today and start using that one, um, you know, for every day when I go to work. And then on this side, this is the last one I'm going to share today. Um, so my mother-in-law gave me a bunch of great like self-care items and home items, uh, which I was so happy because if I had to pick a couple categories to describe the end of 2020 and I, what I want 2021 to look like, I would have to say that I been trying to make my life about self-care as well as making the new house I bought a home. So, these two items here, wine isn't really self-care, but sometimes we can pretend it is. Um, but she got me my favorite wine, which is the Strawberry uh, by Barefoot. And then I thought these kind of went along with collecting because they are Disney related. She gave me these cute wine glasses that say Hakuna Moscato. It means drink wine. Uh, you know, it's a play off of Disney's The Lion King and Takuna Matata. I think Jake and I might break into this later today because this has just been a very long year and I definitely need some good rest and relaxation as we move into 2021. Anyways, thank you all so much for joining me today. Uh, let's take a look at what I got for Christmas. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I certainly had fun, um, you know, talking about the different things that I got and I'm certainly very thankful for all of this. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. You can also find me on Instagram. I have two Instagrams, Love Panda Bunny, as well as Panda Bunny Parks if you're interested in theme park stuff. Um, you can also find me on Discord, Twitter, Facebook. All links are in the description box below. Thanks again, and I'll see you in my next video.